Lodging house. Uh, sir, circus. Uh, big top. Present. I don't want to do that. Here you go, you spoiled brat. Here you go, Regina. Yay! Thank you. You really got it back for me. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Uh, it's it's nothing. No wonder guys melt to mush in front of this girl. Hey, Regina, that costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know the lion she told us about? Oh, the one that someone killed. Okay. Let's talk about Leon. 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 He was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down and then he opened his mouth, you know. Wah! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, it, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways... What was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon did some... bit someone during that practice. R Regina! Everything was alright, though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Okay. <clears throat> Move. There's a lot of moving around in this chapter. I'm really kind of... Wanting to die. December 29th, Big Top Cafeteria. Something smells fantastic! So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is, it's burgers! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Briscoe Deeg Cirque, aka the cafeteria! Mm, it smells so good in here! Those burgers look great! She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best! Juicy meat, toasted bun, special sauce! They are absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger! One bite will send you into hamburger heaven! I bet! I can tell by the smell! Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must be some kind of sp have some kind of special power. Alright, let's talk to him about Barry Big Circus. Now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you going to do? That's all I thought about for the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but when the murder happened, he was livid. Acker was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyway, I gave it to some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on re the ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a, he may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but he's hard to argue. But it's hard to argue his importance. It's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo. All that's left is to see if everyone would get over the tragedy. You know, the tragedy. You know what? What is he talking about? Get over it. Get over it. What tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing at all. He must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yes, yes, that's it. You're right, girly. There. Dang, dang, dang. Correcto mundo. Does he mean ding? Mo? I mean, no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Ugh! No, not at all. Who makes you think that? Just the way you said, if everyone would get over it, seems a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek. Mo, I'm right, aren't I? Uh, another Psylocke? 
So we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, eh? <sighs> okay. No! 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 Present. Okay, let's see what, what's behind this clown. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on in that, at that circus? Okay, okay! There's no need to look so scary at when you ask. Hey! Look over there! Some juicy burger! Let's eat it instead! Unfortunately, I'm more in a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Uh... Actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to have caught... Be the cause of the accident, would it? I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a performance, right? What? I told him so many times, you shouldn't be doing dangerous performances like that. Putting their head inside of Leon's mouth was part of that, an act. But Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He could never say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo, don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this, too. He's involved? Huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo's the person that you... promised you wouldn't say anything? Hmm. First go to profiles. We're going to present Acro. It must have been Acro, right? How, how did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No! No way! I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. Okay. I guess I refilled what I lost if I, I didn't remember losing anything. It's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? No. But it would have probably been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lay in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. But brother They were an acrobatics team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyway... They were an incredible team cut down at the same time. Um, who is Acro's younger brother? Sean Dingling. But everyone always called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurted out, Let me perform with Leon! Why'd he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was smiling. He? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. Ooh. Some sick grin. No way! That's impossible! A smirking lion, a flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick, can lions smile? Um... 
We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you, but all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaker, 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 shaker. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah, 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 achoo! Nice! What a wonderful sneeze! Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana! That's basic clownmanship! Curly? I know you gotta understand that! Nick! I think I'd make a good clown! Other than Regina, I've never seen a cutter, cuter sneeze. Sneezer. Hehehe! <laughs> does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does! Bat would always tease her with the pep with pepper. For Bat? From my point of view, those two always looked so perfect together. They looked perfect together, huh? <sighs> Jeez. Alright, we're gonna go to Acro's room now. We should be almost done with this section. God, it takes an hour to get through each of these, even if you know what you're doing. Um, circus entrance. Moo. Move. Acro's room. Ah, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back! Wait, or was that someone else? We're back because Acro's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows... Well, well, it seems you've got something you want... Got things you want to talk about. So fire away. Okay. Present- No, PRESENT! <laughs> About the wheelchair. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. I was an ac- It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes. Unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were a real cause, he'd have no reason to keep a secret. Acro? Are you really telling me? Well, I didn't even get to read it! Hey. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? There we go! Okay. We're going to present... Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. I know I'm on the right track, I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked? By a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. I'm sure if attack is the best... I'm not sure if attack is the best word to be using. You must have battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. That's an easy one. Bat. It was a shame that... Shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo, but he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue? Anyways, they they were an incredible team. Cut down at the same time. Cut down at the same time. That was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up wrapped up in the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro's Psylocke. He must have an incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro, I know you are still hiding something from me. Maybe something you don't seem to like much. 
is the reason ah is the reason you're being evasive let's see Regina, you always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she is cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite a set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. Ha 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 ha. He wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe he she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught to a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. And I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Doe, maybe I overdid it again. But if I had... If I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. Hmm. No, don't present. Evidence. There we go. This. Where did you get it? Regina posted on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm. I guess I noticed it was around the, uh, in there around breakfast time. I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. Whew. We got it out! Wheelchair. My legs were injured by Leon, six months ago. My younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare?! An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane! Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too, but that lion was very old to begin with, and age brought with a countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened. He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor Bat. When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Jeez. Let's ask about Regina and Bat. Bat and Regina. They were, su they were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is a scarf my brother was wearing. When Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood! This scarf was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. What? And he bit down on Bat's head. The expression of Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know, Mo said the same thing. What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Bon Karma, I've already heard everything, so hand over the scarf. The scarf is evidence to the, in the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served a summons on Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro will talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Oh my god. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we gonna handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure out, I'll figure something out. Look at you, all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. I think I've got a. I think I've got an idea, but I, I'm not going to say anything. 
Alright, so that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye bye